Hello, welcome to the channel. I was sent an alternator and solar charger from eTaker and I am going to be installing that on my old truck. Let's see how it works. I do a review on it. I've been desperately needing more power when the sun's not out, so this will be a great alternative. Okay, we have the main unit here. Aluminum. Metal at least. So it pretty much looks like an inverter. MC4 connectors, hardware, looks like extra hardware. Here's the battery cable. all labeled that is nice You say DC plus and minus, which that's what this one says. Pretty much it for the wiring besides connecting it to the battery itself. So I'm not a professional, what I am is paranoid, so I'm not even sure if I was allowed to show the app because it was third party. But I did my best to illustrate the gist of how it is. You had to set the parameters through the app and it took a little trial and error to get things down. In the alternator section, you can control how much draw is coming out of the alternator. I also had to mess with the settings for it to kick on when the vehicle is actually running and not draw while it's off. The solar settings were straightforward and the DC ports you had to mess with for different batteries or power right, stations. So I have it all the way around to the back of my truck and there's still plenty of wire room. Just ran all the way to the back. Okay, I got some room. That's good. About where I wanted it to. I want it somewhere where I can easily turn it on and off, so I'm putting it here.
Yeah, coincidentally, that's actually a perfect spot because I run most of my solar panels through the back window there anyways. And that also doubles up as a thing to stop my fridge from falling forward. Okay, going through the hole. Down and up towards the battery. Okay, and some conduit over here for extra protection. Yeah, I was going to put it on here, but I'd rather have it be a quick release type deal. I'm just going to set it here. Okay, it's all set up. It's away from everything, so it's not touching anything in particular. I don't know why that bugs me. But yeah, and I'm putting it here so it's like a quick release. I don't want to have to take off the whole system off the vehicle when I could just take that off. And then this is right there, easy to get to. Once these go in, they're really hard to come out on this particular MC4 connector. Okay, got the vehicle started. Yeah, 43%. Yeah, only at 45% after a short drive. So I also have the solar panels connected to here. It's charging up my power station. So it's also works as a solar charge controller in a sense. Okay, I got my truck running. Uh, I am pulling 140, no, no, don't look like it. A cloud must have hit the solar panel. All right, I got the taker on. So it is pulling about 140 watts from the alternator and it's getting uh, the rest from the solar panel. I had to lower the um, amperage to where it could actually still run on this between the solar power or between the solar power amperage and the amps coming from the alternator. I had to reduce how much power was going into this, but it does work. This end is connected to the solar panel outside. So as I said before, I'm not a professional. I'm still learning and working on getting better at presenting these type of things. I test these products because I think I can utilize them. And if you think you can utilize them too, it's cool beans. Okay. I don't want these to come off as a sales pitch because I'm not trying to sell anything. I just wanted to see if it works and use it if it does.